Ha ha. Yes I am first. You all shall bow before my greatness. Hi Joey. How's it going? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh, nice dodge. That was close. How are you doing today, Joey? The Crystal Den? Yeah. Is that your other family? Oh god. Oh my god. Fuck Here you. Go. Here we go. Your you know what? It could be your family too if you go to Joey's what Twitch and click on his that Discord. Was clean. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Why would I go there? You'll just abandon them too. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Soon you'll come back and be a sculptor at this point. Maybe he uh, that's will. a bad thing? No, it's just the yeah. fact that if I go to you, that it's very likely you'll abandon them too, and they'll have to deal with what we've had to deal with for the past oh, seven years. Yes. See the guilt trip I go through? <laughs> That's what Nemiki puts me through. Close these windows so it's not echoing. I'm good. I'm debating on a game at the moment because kind of tired of the same game. Yeah, I know that feeling. I kind of get that feeling with uh, Genshin every now and then, but it's like, oh, I gotta catch up. Gotta catch up. Otherwise, I'll be behind. Where is my VTuber model? Alright, there we go. Yeah, since I'm also alone down here, I can also put on, turn off Bush to Talk. Booty beep boop boop. Sorry if you hear my cell phone. Oh, I may have to raise the volume too. For Genshin. Easily done. Just need to. It's like VC face. There it is. And there I am. Okay. All right, turn that there off. Turn that there off. Why do I feel like something's missing? But I feel like we're good. Also, Joey! Right, the free redeem. What free redeem you want? I'm looking. Okay. So anyway. Going back on the Genshin grind. Right now I'm doing an event. Let me see what event this is called. An invitation from afar. <laughs> okay. I had a feeling it was that one. <laughs> I'll make sure to refund your points so it's free for you. So, all right, so, so far, yeah, I did continue um, this event a little bit. So, apparently, long story short, Klee received an invitation from her mother, Alice. Yeah, hold on, let me switch first off. 
Whoosh. Yes. Clea received an invitation from her mother, Alice, to go somewhere like far in Sumeru. And so Jean ordered us and Kaya to travel along with her. We met up with Eula and Kole, and now we're this whole big group going into this domain. The domain is apparently like in a bottle. <laughs> we summoned the bottle and then we like went inside the bottle. So it was like this whole like bottle world, I guess. So we're gonna figure what that's all about. And that's pretty much where we left off. We found that it's eerily quiet. <sighs> so our goal right now is just to head on in and look around. And yeah, that's about it. I did finish the um R and R quest line. It was a good quest line. <sighs> good to see. We actually get to see like someone getting their vision. I thought that was really cool. Anywho, let's get back to it. I already did my uh, commissions. And surveys, so we cut through the bowl. I'm just collecting whatever's on the way here. We have, well, I have like three days left to do whatever this entire event is. So, yeah, the majority of the stream might mostly just be that. Cooking too, because I got chess here too. All oh, right, you probably can't hear it. I need to. I love how I dodge through that. Alongside the um, Aranara quest, I was um, catching up on Akanomiya world quest. I don't know, something about that era that just, just like turns me off from the game. Maybe it's just always bad timing. Like, maybe like I just got like asleep. I didn't eat enough today. But every time I show up in Economia, I'm like, I'm just like, ugh. This is such a workout doing these quests. I'm pretty sure it's just bad timing on my part, because it is a generally uh, interesting area to like explore and whatnot. <clears throat> also, let me raise the volume for you guys. So I bet you guys can't hear anything. Should I max it out? Let me see. Should I max it out? Let me see. A blade embraces its duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. A blade is okay. like a tea leaf. Only yeah, sorry those for the echo. who sample it many times can appreciate its true qualities. Okay, did, and I also did some other redeems that was unchecked. Okay, thank you. Appreciate the help, Joey. Best mod. Alright, what do we have here? Wow. It's a big ball of water! I wonder what it feels like. Can I touch it? Oh no. Careful, Clee. It's so big that we could probably pass straight through it. And that was the last we ever heard from Paimon. Watch out, you might get gobbled up by the water ball monster. Uh, that's so scary! Stop giving Paimon the heebie-jeebies! <laughs> Let's not touch it for now. We still don't know enough about our environment. But we can't just do nothing at all because then... Nothing at all will happen! Hmm... I have a feeling that this could be the core that sustains this entire bottle domain. In which case, the moment we touch it, this place will instantly revert to its original size, with all of us still inside. Yikes! Okay, okay, Paimon won't touch it. Jeez. I kind of want to touch it. Kaya, are we really gonna get squished inside a bottle? 
Of course not, Klee. I'm sure the real core of this domain is hidden away in a very safe place. Somewhere like... <laughs> over there, for example. Uh, I was so nervous that I didn't notice that big wheel at all. <laughs> Wait, who goes there? Gurgle? doesn't seem hostile. In fact, don't you think it looks happy to see us? Really? Uh, you sure it's not gonna gobble up my hole? I don't think it's hungry. Are you water droplet? Oh dear. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm not understanding a word of this. Oh. Wait, don't go. Wait for us. Uh, and there she goes. Why it stop? Maybe you can understand us after all. Oh, lots us to follow oh. it. Now it's leading the way for us, just like the cats and Mondstadt. I like love her. Cats? She's so cute. How so? When you're walking around in Mondstadt City, sometimes a cat will show up on the side of the road. It'll walk ahead of you for a while, and if you're curious enough to follow it, you'll soon find yourself in front of a fine establishment called the Cat's Tail. Exactly. So let's see where this water droplet takes us. It could be interesting. Also known as the TCG lobby. I'm touching it. Alright, nothing happens. So why? Oh wait, I, I already asked that dinner night. Did you decide on a game yet, Joey? What are your options? Their base over there. What else is around here? Crocodiles. Huh? Another strange contraption. And there's a weird looking wall over there. This kind of looks like that ball of water we saw earlier. Did the water droplet bring us here because it wants our help with something? What? Your friend is trapped in the wall? Don't be sad, water droplet. We're here now. We'll save your friend. You understand it? You bet. Do we need to find a key of some sort then? Oh no! Where'd it go? Look, the device has lit up. And it's projecting images onto the wall. A two-dimensional space with objects of the same composition as the device nested inside. Yep, what Kaya said, and that where its friend is. But how exactly do we enter the image on the wall? I, I feel like I skipped through the dialogue faster than 
the game automatically does it. Maybe Probably better this way too. We just copy what the water droplet did. Hmm. But what does that mean? Hold on, I think Klee's on to something. Since the water droplet appears to be the key that activated the mechanism, we may be able to follow it inside simply by touching the device. The principle is no different than how we entered this bottle domain. Fair enough. Okay, deep breath, then head in. Go close and activate the streaming projectile. Projector? <laughs> projectile. Tend to the print on the wall. Within the prints, you can interact with objects or operate key mechanisms within the puzzle. Traditionally, you know, complete corresponding exploration objectives. Change some ob objects outside the preprints that can affect the environments within them. You can leave the preprint at any time during your exploration. Change the environment will really affect you. Blah 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 blah. Hmm. That's cool. Whoa! You really entered the wall! Wow, another water droplet just came out from the wall! in there, but as soon as it came out, it turned all plump and round! <laughs> Guess it makes sense that the water droplet's friend is also a water droplet. Aww, and they both do the same thing to show they're happy. Uh, water droplet number two ran off! It's saying thank you, Mr. Honorary Knight. That was a huge help. It was nothing. Traveler. How do you feel after entering that two-dimensional space? Any... physical side effects? No, I feel as it... the same as ever. You sure seem fine to Paimon! Well, I'm just glad that you're okay. Good thing you was here to look out for everyone! Can't say the same for you though, Kaya! You were pretty quick to send the Traveler inside! <laughs> Hey now, I only suggested that because I was confident that the Traveler would be fine. Water Droplet, is there anyone else here besides you and your friend? Yep, you know, anyone who looks like me or my friends. Oh, it ran off again! Hopefully this is a good sign! Amazing! Come on, let's follow it! Nice to see that one of my mains is involved in this quest. <laughs> Park guide? Oh, it's just teaching me some stuff. Since there's only three days left on the event, most likely everything is we have access to then. Evil fungi. My Whirling snow. God damn it. Seriously, nothing else over on this side? Oh. I shall also get my Ganyu back. What are my orders? 
gun you. Oh, right when I got her out, the fish disappeared. Oh, wait, nope. Did it not work? Usually that gets the fish. There we go. Yeah, I need plenty of fish for uh, cooking some meals and being proficient in them. She'll treasure this good fortune. Thank you, thank you. Uh, most likely, I'm gonna need a uh, boat for this. Yep. This event. It's like an amusement park, sort of. And I completely screwed that up. Let me go back. Let's do this without sucking. I said without sucking. Today is a lucky day. Except their beast over there. Hopefully he doesn't aggro. Good boy, good boy. Alright, yeah. Something's off. Ah, hello there. So are you droplets just gonna hang out here? Not gonna do anything else? Alrighty. They're just vibing. Hey, hey, hey! Got him. I like the music. It looks like there might be a town up ahead. Maybe more people live in this domain than we thought. And maybe that's where Auntie Desert lives! There's a bunch of challenges in here. Which means a bunch of primos. Hell yeah. Something up there, too. Hey, yo, what I miss? <laughs> Please help. Thank you, buddy. Oh, oh shit.
Give me, give me, give me. No, come back. She'll treasure this good fortune. The all whopper flowers. Hi, Mandy. How you doing? Could my fabulous mod here shout out Mandy Cakes? Mandy cakes, that is. <laughs> Don't be like me and just put Mandy. <laughs> no touching. You're good. That's good to hear. Just hanging out, doing some event quests on Genshin. So who unlocks a you? Wait, there's a random bucket in a waterfall. Sus. Oh, fish. Still never tried Genshin. It is pretty fun. I like the combat. It's definitely engaging. I shall treasure this good fortune. And despite it being a gacha game, you know, you can still in perfectly enjoy everything by being a free to play player. Oh wait. This is sus. The boss fights were easy as shit. I lied. I fucking lied. But seriously though, those boss fights were fucking dumb easy. Something new. What? Why are you here? Are you friendly? Please? You, you are? Smack. No, it's not friendly! I knew it! Freaking trust you. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I, I hit it, but... What did you attack it? It was being a good goose. It was a sus goose! Something's off. In, in my defense... <laughs> there's a boss in this game that summons those gooses and... Well, geese, I guess it's plural form, but yeah. And summons those to attack me, so right? I got a little PTSD there. Hello there. Hello. Hi Red. How you doing? Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Oh. Judy Patootie, yes. you're heckin' adorable as usual. I'm Rego. <laughs> you're cute, Red. And how are you doing, by the way?
There's another one over there. See, they are- these water animals are sus. <laughs> Just walking around? Yeah, right. My Let them be. Fine, it's up to. But if, if they strike me, they're dead. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I get anything out of uh, killing them anyway. For now. Today is a lucky day. What do you do? Just got home and had din din. That is good. Hoping you all are hydrated. As well as eating. That way? Why are you pointing that way? Oh. Where are you going? Oh, nowhere. Okay. You guys gonna attack me? No? Okay. We'll leave him alone. For now. Man, this quest is just handing out primos like nothing. I love it. It's gonna come in handy for uh, the next banner, too. When the update comes. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. Any of you boxes do a thing? Let's see. No, you don't. Okay. What? What? <laughs> Alright, there's a, also a teleporter here somewhere. Where is it? I should also grab that before anything else. Did I miss it complete? I did miss it completely, okay. I'm watching you, duck. I wonder if there's like an achievement to find all of them. Oh, yeah. The situation is now critical. Her window of opportunity to fix this is rapidly closing. I'm sure you've noticed just how much things have deteriorated in recent days. But, but even so... This is your home. Are you really going Kokomi? to let everything fall to pieces? I... well, I live here, but it doesn't actually belong to me. Huh? Paimon knows that voice. Definitely sounds like someone we know. Anyone else who comes into this domain in the future will take one look at the ruins before them and conclude that this place was abandoned years ago. Can we give a shout out to uh, Red Rabbit, by the way, Joey? Hello? Hey, what's up? Okay. <laughs> All right. No problem. <clears throat> Thank you, Joey. 
Hold on, let me... Uh, I thought they did. Maybe I misunderstood last time. Where is that option? Where's that option? There it is. But just imagine how different things could be if you maintain this domain in perfect condition. Whoever sets foot inside will witness a magical wonderland. Hello Raiders! Almost forgot I put push to talk back on. <laughs> How's it going? How was your raid? Can we give a shout out to It's Me Azumi? Oh, wait. They said add. Oops. Say it! Stop telling me to say it! I'm gonna say it! I'm gonna say it! Stop it! I'm saying it! I'm literally saying it right now! I'm saying She's it gonna right say now! It. Let her cook! Yeah, exactly! <laughs> Let her cook! Let me... Anyways... You were saying you were sitting on Santa's lap. So I was like, hey, you know, make sure you just, since you're, you're already there, just tell him I've been a good girl this year. What? Anyways, um, so. <laughs> <laughs> also playing Genshin. Oh, nice to see you. How are you doing? How's Genshin? Genshin's going great. Oh, but I'm going to be real quick. I'll be right back. Just going to bring something up to my parents. Whew, sorry about that. Alright, so Kokomi's here. Let's see what this is all about. How miraculous it would feel to them to find such unimaginable beauty in the middle of a lifeless desert. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, you're right, General. Truly, but... General? Oh, so she's part of the Resistance. If she's addressing it by general, that is. Did did we meet Idi Idia before? I don't remember. She does look familiar. Act now while you still can. You have to stand up to this and break free from your despair. General Sango no Mia, why is it a question mark? The most important thing is to have no regrets in the end. Hmm. Well, no one chooses to have regrets, do they? But I take your point. I'll try my best to stop running away. But the question remains of where to begin. <laughs> Paimon's figured out who it is! Is it Mr. Honorary Knight's friend from a faraway land? Yep. She's a divine princess. And an amazing healer. A divine priestess? What's that? <gasps> Is it a kind of mage? Are you speed running the quest? Uh, sort of, taking my time. So I do just want, like, you know, I'm a casual player. But yeah, I do want to get this quest over with because apparently I got three days left to, like, do everything. Well, I guess the answer in that case is yes, but I'm overthinking, sorry. <laughs> Gurgle. What are you doing here? Huh? We have new visitors? What's up? 
Greetings, everyone. This is the Valurium Mirage, and I'm the caretaker, Adia. I'm so sorry that you have to see this domain in its current state of disarray. We are actively working on repairs, and everything will be back to normal shortly. Um, I hope. Okay, so we haven't met before. This is our, our like, first introduction. Greetings, everyone. I guess I should introduce myself, too. Wait, what? So it's not Kokomi? The same Kokomi that we know? Because she doesn't recognize us. It's alright. Just leave the introductions to me. Uh, I kind of wanted to say hello in my own way. But no harm done. I guess I'll let her do the honors. This lady is a visitor to the domain, just like yourselves. She is a formidable military general. Have any of you heard of Inazuma's Onmyo chamber? The... uh... what chamber? <laughs> That's a no. Onmyo chamber. It's an elite training academy for gifted students of Onmyodo. Practitioners are divided into four classes, A through D, and assigned the power of Shikigami based on their mastery of the art. Yeah, as if Kala is going to understand any of what you just said. <laughs> Being from Sumer. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of time. I just finished it myself, trying to explore the whole place now. Uh, wait. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do the same. This lady famously led the Class D underdogs to victory against the Class A favorites in the final mock campaign before graduation. An astonishing feat that few in the history of the Academy have ever achieved. Hence, Formidable General is no exaggeration. But she knows us, yes? This is the same Kokomi? Isn't that right, General? Uh, what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> Huh? Wait, so the favorites were beaten by the classy underdogs? Uh, Paimon's not completely following. Hmm. Those all sound like tropes from Inuzum and Light novels. Oh, right. She take takes her tactics from Light novels. <laughs> right. Doesn't sound like the divine priestess Mr. Honorary Knight is talking about. Uh oh, did she just get caught lying in front of someone she was trying to impress? Or maybe she uses a different identity in her private life, and this is the first time her friends are learning about it. it seems kind of embarrassing, but also kind of cool. I guess having someone else to introduce you was a good way to make an impression. She's so sweet. Hmm. Maybe I'd fit in better with everyone if I had a title, too. I mean, you do. Forest Ranger. <clears throat> Some people call me a general, but it's just their way of showing respect. My actual name is Sangonomiya Kokomi. Huh? Oh, no. Sorry, my mistake, General. Uh, I mean, Miss Sangonomiya. <laughs> call me whatever you like, Idia. The only important thing about names is knowing who's who. Yeah. Oh, I get it now. It's like that story that Mom told me that time. Klee can explain. So basically, in the story, a big group of people go on an adventure to Bottle Land. One of them's called the King, and some of them are called Knights. So, Miss Sangonomiya must be the super smart one who solves all the problems in the story. Uh, uh what's that one called again? Strategist? Perhaps a sage? Or that. Indeed. Wisdom is an important attribute found in military generals. Okay, well, I'll just call you that. <laughs> Gonna be lurking so I can get some dinner. Have fun with Genshin. Thank you for the lurk and for the raid. Appreciate it. I'm setting up so see ya, bestie. Alright, take care, Joey. <laughs> Fine by me. Sounds really cute coming from you. 
At least, cuter than my pen name, that's for sure. Well then, how should I address the rest of you? Comrade, old friend for me, I hope. <laughs> how could I ever forget you? But what about these esteemed ladies and gentlemen accompanying you? I'd be delighted if you could introduce me to them too. Okay, so she does know us. I guess this is just like dialogue in case, like, we've never met? No, but that wouldn't make sense. We wouldn't be able to do this quest. Because, you know, like, or would we be able to? Huh. No, I don't think you could skip the Archon quest. That I'm aware of, anyway. So, yeah, alright, so it does make sense that she knows us and whatnot. There's just that dialogue and the presentation of it all was a little bit off to me. Wait! Klee wants a title too! Mm, okay, got it! Klee wants to be a mage! The kind that flies around everywhere! Da da da! Whoosh! <laughs> Kaya can be the faster thief. Mr. Honorary Knight can be. uh. the knight! And Paimon will be the fairy who follows the knight everywhere. Master thief, huh? <laughs> I did like playing pirates as a child, so I suppose this is an apt role for me. And I must admit, the master part is a nice touch. What about you, Lan Cole? Uh, hold on a second. Are you saying the position of knight is now filled? You one can be the sword master who can cut through anything and also gets to wear a super sparkly cape. <laughs> That's more like it. And Kale can be um the healer. If you want to be the knight, we can swap. Uh no no, I don't mind. Healer is a great role. Know if I'm qualified to be one? Oh, you'll be fine. Whenever I'm thinking of titles for myself, I usually imagine myself as an adventurer or musician. <laughs> I never thought I could be a healer. I mean, it feels like it should be Master Tainari's role, if anyone's. <laughs> I mean, you follow in his footsteps. It's like his apprentice, so. The student becomes the master. Sorry, Kale, you'll be the bestest healer ever! You don't talk much, but you're very kind, just like the healers in Mom's stories. You'll do fine. I heard you're good with bandages. You can patch up a wound, can't you? Uh, I can pitch a tent. Maybe you heard wrong? <laughs> but I'll do my best. It's my first day filling in for Master Tainari. But hopefully it's the first of many! Yeah, I mean, she should be able to do- manage that much. I mean, it's not much brain work into, like, patching wounds. This is a great idea! Uh, once a new visitor arrives, they can assume a new identity, then add in some role-playing. Oh! We can't leave you out, Miss Adia! Lots of characters in Mom's stories, but you don't remind me of any of them. Wow. That's perfectly okay. I already have a role here anyway, remember? I'm the caretaker. I got it! I got it! This wasn't in any of the stories, but you can be the mascot. Mascot? Klee, maybe you could think up an even better role for Miss Adia. Her leg is twitching. A mascot, you say? Isn't that a character that doesn't have to actually do anything and sits around letting everyone else do all the important work? Incredible. You've seen right through me. Oh. Sounds like the idea of being lazy is pretty exciting to her. <laughs> oh, I guess. Alright, the facial expression didn't really convey that, but... The mascot serves to maintain troop morale, Idea. Don't underestimate your role. Ah, oh, all right. I'll be the mascot then. Oh, the water droplet wants a roll? That's right.
Thank you for bringing these new friends here safely. You can go off and play now. Thanks, Water Droplet. See ya! Huh? Water Droplet? Is that your pet name for it? <laughs> I suppose it's as accurate a nickname as any. We keep getting sidetracked. But I believe you were saying something about being in a difficult predicament. Is something wrong with the Valyria Mirage? Oh, yes. About that. I'm afraid the entire domain has recently sustained some significant damage. It was as if the whole world was suddenly flipped upside down. A few components went missing from the core, which sustains the domain, and the impact cascaded out from there. Needless to say, many things in the Valoria Mirage have now stopped working. Just days after I agreed to let my friend's daughter come and visit too, when she gets here and sees the state this place is in... <sighs> oh, so you're Mom's friend? Hi, Auntie Desert! I'm Klee. Here, I brought the magic invite, see? Huh? Wait, so you're... you're... Look how dilated her pupils are. She must be very surprised. Yeah, and uh, not in a good way. Mom's the one who sent me here. She's the strongest mage ever. She said that her friend lives in the desert. You live in the desert, so that must be you. Right, Auntie Desert? Can't argue with that logic. Ah, I see. So being a mage runs in the family. <laughs> you're... you're Alice's daughter! Oh, I just want the ground to swallow me up right now! Wait, that's it! I'll hide myself away in the core of the domain! <laughs> hide there until this all blows over! See you all in a hundred years! <laughs> Idea's really going through it. She's like a shriveled little forest fungus, hanging its head in shame. Kali? That's a harsh analogy. Where'd all that come from? <laughs> Desert, Klee's here to help you, and all my friends will help too. Just take a deep breath, and then another deep breath, and all your worries will fly away. As a knight, it shall be my honor to render my assistance. Yeah, don't you worry. Sir Fixalot over here has a good track record with this kind of thing. <laughs> well, I'm useless. But it looks like that won't matter with all you capable people around. Fantastic. She's useless and is wearing all blue. Is she supposed to be a reference to Aqua? Or am I just overthinking it because, you know, the blue and anyway. Don't put yourself down, Adia. You're great, too. Thanks for your encouragement. Anyway, for the time being, please talk amongst yourselves. That'll give me some time to think things through, and maybe make a start on, um, delegating. Alrighty, first let's grab that telly. The Hydro Eidolons want to play hide and seek. Hydro Eidolons have shifted into other forms than themselves. Haha! -ha. Wait, what? I didn't even see you up there, I just saw the prompt. Oh, right there in front of my face. Collecting rare and exquisite Hell treasures. Yeah. Yes. 
seem suitably sophisticated. Iris General, Mr. Honorary Knight says that you're from Watatsumi Island. What's it like there? There must be loads of fish, right? Wait! You look kinda like a mermaid. Are there fish in your family? I mean, not too far off. Oh, uh, sorry to disappoint you, Miss Mage, but I'm just an ordinary human. Is she? I thought lore-wise... Eh, whatever. I have lots of great stories about Watatsumi Island, though. Come on, let's enjoy the scenery while I tell you all about it. I guess all those were just memes. <laughs> Anything behind here? There's a seed up there. How the hell do I get that? I think I know how. It's probably like a very complicated way of getting that one, but <laughs> we're doing it. Oh, there's something way up top there. Okay, so that's what a teleport is. Kale? Well, it's your first time as a guide, after all. Hmm? Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm just, uh, still settling into the role. So I was thinking about how to talk more like Master Tainari. Well, the easiest way to imitate someone is to start with their most common turns of phrase. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, <clears throat> put that mushroom down. Huh. <sighs> now! It's highly poisonous. <laughs> there you go. With just a few simple words, you've captured your master's personality perfectly. Anyway, what about your role? Don't you mind being the master thief? It doesn't sound like you're one of the good guys. <laughs> Maybe not. Until you factor in that I only steal from the enemy. I think that's enough to make me one of the good guys. Don't you? Fair point, fair point. It's nice seeing all the characters get along. Huh? Who else has visited the Valoria Mirage recently? Uh, there was someone from the Academia who came not long ago. A Kasharawar scholar. Blonde hair. Architect, I think. Blonde hair architect. Kave? Could be Kave? He was a huge help and redesigned many of the buildings here. Although he was always grumbling to himself, he was extremely diligent in his work. Ah, <sighs> what a kind person. I could tell that was a sensitive soul. A lot like me. Uh, sorry. Please pretend you didn't hear that. <clears throat> I'm, of course, a very uh, strong and resilient person. After him, an aristocrat from Mondstadt showed up, then the gen... I mean, Miss Sangonomiya. Unfortunately, everything here suddenly started changing before I had the chance to be a good host and show them around. An aristocrat from Mondstadt? Oh. She was looking for her brother. Do you know where the Mondstadt aristocrat is now? 
If I remember correctly, he headed north after the incident. It's a pity we're having all these issues. Oh, if we could get everything working normally again, I could probably locate him in an instant. Still, not to worry. There's nothing dangerous here. No, just the crocodiles and the freaking other things wanting to kill you. <sighs> hey, Idea! You got an update for us? We got caught up with each other. Very well. Then please allow me, Idea, your mascot, to explain exactly what's happened here. She's pretty happy with the mascot role, huh? Basically, this entire domain is powered by a device called the Central Hub, which you all saw earlier. But following a major incident, several key components from the Central Hub came loose and went flying. Four components, I believe, which has caused the Central Hub to stop turning. Oh, so that thing's supposed to spin? Yes, it definitely shouldn't be frozen still like it is now. At least, that's not how it was when I first got here. Oh, I've done such a terrible job of taking care of it, it's so embarrassing. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. Hmm. So, we need to fix the big wheel up there. And to do that, we need to find the missing parts. Right. I do know where one of the parts is. It landed not too far away. But the rest all landed in different areas. I'm afraid you'll have to go and look for those. <clears throat> now, as the caretaker and your mascot, I shall announce your respective adventure duties. Um, you can just be yourself if you want. No need to force the whole role-playing thing. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, okay, so I was thinking that maybe Swordmaster Eula and Healer Kale could investigate the Northern Zone, if that's okay? Fine by me. I was going to be looking for my cousin there anyway. I'll be your backup, Eula. I know you usually team up with Amber, so I'll try my best to fill her shoes. Oh? Well, this'll be fun. Let's see if a forest ranger can outperform an outrider. Master Thief Kaya and Mage Klee, if you could earmark some time in your busy schedules to search the West Zone. Earmark? What does that mean? It just means we mustn't forget to do it. Don't worry. We can handle that. Finally, we have our general, Miss Sangonomiya, and our knight, the Traveler. If there's no objections, please come with me to retrieve the first component. Understood. You have my sword. Alright, well, if anyone finds anything, come back here and we'll regroup. Please take care while you're out on the road and look after each other. Especially our little mage here. You got it. I'll take extra special care of Kaya. I'll be on my best behavior. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll leave it there for now. You two, please follow me. I remember seeing it just behind the central hub. So, how come you didn't bring it back when you first saw it? I'd have been more than happy to, if this one component was enough to fix the whole domain. But with three other components to find... Oh, I suddenly felt overwhelmed by how much work needed doing. Just three components. Paimon kinda gets that. Taking the first step is always the hardest part. This guy's isn't working. Hi. A change of disguise, perhaps? Ah, there you go. Oh, what do we have here? Something's off. A berry in a tree? Y'all are silly. Eh. 
Anywho, there was a challenge? There. Right in front of my face that I walked by. Love how I saw it at the last minute. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. Today is a lucky day. Alrighty. So there's one missing. further than usual to really broaden my horizons. Well, that's one reason anyway. I can explain in more detail another time. Yeah, I'm just trying not to skip the dialogue. Oh yes. man, I'm glad I'm doing this event. Just straight up primos everywhere. Anything sus about you? Something's off. Aha. Oh, all of you were sus. I wonder if there's like an achievement or something to like find them all. That'd be a fun little scab and drawing. I don't know if I said that or I thought that. Already. Random ass barrel on a branch? Hmm. I 
I shall treasure this good fortune. wondering oh, but where's the component there is nothing here oh where could it be probably in the wall oh it's that lamp thingy right water droplets showed us how that works already uh yes ugh, that's the one there goes my big introduction Aww. showing people the ropes is supposed to be my job oh i can't believe i'm being shown up by a hydro idolon Cheer up, Idea. The Hydro Eidolon can give a basic demonstration of how to use things, but beyond that, it can't communicate. Klee seems to understand them perfectly. That's where you come in. Your descriptions can explain everything in full, vivid detail. Paimon forgot how persuasive Kokomi can be when she really wants to. Hmm. Sometimes having a genius strategist around really comes in handy. Now I see how an eloquent speaker can persuade others to not only agree with them, but do things for them. Oh, well if you put it that way. <laughs> well then, just pretend like you've never seen it before and I'll tell you all about it. Yes, please do. This is called the Streaming Projector. Everything here in the Valurium Mirage was made using this device. All you need to do is place an item in the projector, and you can construct a corresponding item based on the shape of the original and your imagination. At least, I think that's what it used to do. With the domain in its current state, only its most basic functions are still operable. Basic functions like... Shining light? Okay, not quite that basic. At the moment, it's only able to show two-dimensional objects. I call them preprints. <laughs> Think of it like a sort of draft or blueprint or something. So you're saying the component fell into the preprints? Yes, exactly. I'll leave you to go in and physically retrieve it. Well, I, um, I'll be out here rooting for you by, uh, by doing a motivational dance! Really? <laughs> no. Sorry. I feel like I have two left feet when I try to dance. I guess I'll just find a place nearby to sit and wait patiently for you. <laughs> Kakomi. Before I jump in there, though, let me look around. Since that's clearly the right way to go, what's over here? All the way up here. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. Equipment not currently open to the public. Please return at a later time. Uh. Oh, wow. Couldn't even stand on it. Nothing else down there, unless one of those boxes. Nope, nothing. Alright, back to where we were going. Anything sus here? Hold up. Oh, 
Oh, that little object stood out to me. I thought it was something. In we go. Doesn't look like the component is in here. <laughs> Maybe not, but I still want to loot the place. that it's definitely one of the components. So that leaves three more components missing. Every journey begins with a first step. I think we're off to a good start, and things should keep going smoothly from here. You... you really think so? Of course. Trust the general. I suppose you're right. She did manage to defeat Class A at the Onmyo Chamber, after all. Um, you, uh, you don't need to keep bringing that up. <laughs> anyway, thank you for all your help. I'll take this and start trying to repair the central hub. You two may as well head back to town. Oh, why am I so clumsy? Once again, I was no help at all. The least I can do is try and handle the actual repairs. Now we can hear you. Or are you all? All right, you're real. A lot of stuff over here. Huh. That scared me a little bit. That camera turn. Allow me. Embrace the ice. Whirling snow. So Fucking rude. annihilate. Don't touch 
Uh oh, the bloom is gonna. Oh god. Up oh, there we go. Sorry, man. I tried. Wait, my Hydro's actually hurt- Oh no, it's not the Hydro that's hurting them. Yeah, let me reset all that, cause of all that... ...mess. An asshole just kicked me down. I need to bend it back. Of course. Okay, never again. Where's my Bennett? Gonna be epic. All right, what we got here? New attraction coming soon, please come back another time. Probably when I fix up the place.
was a lucky day. All right, what about you? Currently under maintenance, okay. I'm gonna trek across. Yeah, see, glad I switched out to Bennett, because look at this shit. Oh, right. Ow. Let's light it up. It's like I pressed the dodge by instinct, and by doing that, I fuck myself over because that's how you activate Ayaka's cryo imbuement. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably. Don't know if that's an actual word, but that's the word I'm going with. A random barrel over there. Ha! Sus. Well, well, well. Ah, showing me the order. Thank you, thank you. Let's move out. Thank you, little guy. Today is a lucky day. What else we got around here? We also got that thing that I never investigated. What's your story? Oh. Can you help me out here, buddy? Thank you. I shall treasure this good fortune. There we are. There's also one over there. Damn, there's a lot that I missed. Oh, this is probably from the hilly trail that I <laughs> knocked over. The Hydro Islands want to play hide and seek. Alright. Let's do it. This is a fun event. Having a good time. Really, dude? Oh, I see. Ha ha. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. 
Oh, I really like this event. I noticed that uh, plunging from high above, it never, like, kills you. It, it'll hurt you a lot, depending on the height, but it never kills you, is what I notice. Do I need to kill him again? I probably need to kill him again. Because they're probably part of the challenge. Take flight. Yeah, because they don't even drop anything. Checking. Treasure this good fortune. <sighs> I think that's it for this side for now. Maybe. From what I can tell. Oh, wait, nope. Treasure this good fortune. Anything else? Anything else? Do a quick sweep. What do we do with you? Oh, nothing, because I can't even get in.
mentioned that the water droplet showed you how to use the projector? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I'm so curious to know what happened. Oh, sure! It was Clay that interpreted him. I see. Hey, oh. Look! The wheel is spinning now! <gasps> oh. And now it's stopped again! Well, that didn't last long. It also wasn't spinning at the right speed. Before the incident, it spun much faster than that. Oh, so you saw it back when it was still working? Oh, yes. I arrived here a little earlier than the rest of you. But the incident took place not long after I entered. Like Idea said, it felt like the world was... flipped upside down. Well, I don't know how else to describe it. And I certainly don't want to experience it again. No, it's no use. Uh, seems it won't run until all the missing components are returned. For a moment there, when it started turning, I got excited. I thought that maybe the hub can work just fine without the other three. Wishful thinking is only going to lead to disappointment, Idea. Let's stick to the plan. We'll get there. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Honorary Knight and Miss General are here. Oh, and our mascot! You beat us! I was sure we were gonna be the first ones back! Hey, how'd it go? Mission complete. Where our knight sword goes, victory soon follows. <laughs> Impressive. I doubt you'd find many other knights of such caliber even among the knights of Favonius. How about our master thief and mage? Did you find anything? You bet! We made a huge discovery! The place we were trying to get to was blocked off. We couldn't see anything past it, and there was no way around. But then, just now, a huge canyon appeared out of nowhere, so we hurried back here. Huh? It appeared just now? Hmm. Come and see, Mr. Honorary Knight. Let's go on a canyon adventure. To the canyon. I'll sit this one out. I'm beat after trying to make those repairs. I need to take a break. Oh my god. It was like one li All right. Miss General, you should come too. You can hide behind me and give me smart advice while I protect you. Wonderful. It would be an honor to serve as advisor for our young mage. <laughs> Let's go! And she's off. What the? Didn't I tell you? This guy says it's working. A change of disguise, perhaps? Yeah, there you go. Oh, may I have to do it for both of them? There you go. I shall that makes sense. Good fortune. <laughs> now then, about that little thing. Hold the line. down I don't see it though
Oh, the barrel? Oh, you know, I have to take this way. Oh, some archery. Archery challenge right there. Kale, you're up. I follow uh, Kale's English voice actor on um, Twitter. She's excited about the upcoming convention she's going to. Really happy for her. She's just a she's just a wholesome person. Now what do we have here? Hello there. Treasure this good fortune. I'm not chasing you. <laughs> All right, what's up here? Stuff. Oh, wait. I'm guessing Gus is gonna take me to that little globe there over there. It is! There it is! See? This canyon wasn't here before! That looks like a roller coaster! Just before the canyon appeared, I heard a faint sound. Like something mechanical turning. Kerchuk, kerchuk, kerchuk! Could it have been the central hub? Hmm. That would mean this canyon appeared after it started spinning. Hey, you, uh... Oh. New guys, huh? Hey, what's up? Someone from the Adventurers Guild. Oh, hey! Lyman didn't realize anyone else besides Zeal lived here. Sorry, just, uh, putting stuff on the side here. You actually saw her? <laughs> She's barely shown her face since everything started falling apart here. Uh, excuse me for asking, but who are you? Oh, right. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Ferdinand. Me and my brothers look after this whole zone. Well, we used to, until this whole domain was, like, flipped upside down or whatever. The method we were using to make the carts and tracks stopped working after that. Hmm, his eyes are very shiny. Idea is working on repairing the domain. We were just with her before coming here. Really? Huh. I assume that she'd be curled up in a fetal position somewhere, hoping all her problems will magically disappear on their own. Good for her. Anyway, I checked all the stations around the whole circuit. They've all conked out. Conked out? How? 
Would you mind elaborating a little for us? Uh, but aren't you just travelers who stumbled upon this place by accident? Nuh-uh. I'm Mage Klee, Idea's helper. A mage? You? That's right. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Okay, I gotcha. Well, right now, the more helpers we uh -oh. got, the better, uh -oh. Uh -oh. I guess. Anyway, our first priority is to get the cards here up and running again. Oh? And why is that? The roads here twist and turn so much that the best way to get around is by riding the rail tracks instead. Let me show you. This is what we used to make them. Did Dia bring you up to speed on these things? It is a string projector, right? Yep. Basically, we need something that we can put inside that'll make a card for us. Mm, like what? Can it be anything as long as it looks like a card? Yeah, you could put it that way. But one other thing is that it has to be compatible with the tracks. So, something like a sedan chair, maybe? Mm, but I'm not sure we have all the materials required to build one of those. You traveler, any ideas? Maybe just a basic wooden cart? Hmm. That would solve the issue of materials. Wood's no good. A rickety wooden cart would be too dangerous. Really? Hey everyone, come and see what Klee made. Pfft, wow! Wow! Amazing work, Klee! Whoa! It fits a track like a glove, too. Plus, it's a heck of a lot cuter than the ones Adia made. Well done, Klee. <laughs> I just wanted to give it a try. And suddenly, boom! There it was! Paimon's gotta ask. What exactly did you make your cart from, Klee? Oh, no. Oh god, one of her bombs. <laughs> uh -huh. so. Hmm, is there a problem or something? If not, then let's get ready to leave. It's just this card is made from um We just need to drive safely. It's a bomb or something, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gathered from your conversation that Jumpy Dumpty is a little more volatile than the cute name suggests. It's okay, though, because the end product only takes on the general look of the source material. Uh, so to be more specific, while different materials have different properties, most of them aren't transferred to... Uh... It's okay! No need to delve into the theoretical stuff. I yeah, we got it. It's magic, bro. Paimon just wanted to make sure we aren't about to end up like the, uh... Flying fish of Starfell Lake. Huh? Can we ride the cart now? In a moment, we need a Hydro Idolin to power it up first. Okay, she's ready to roll. Hop in. All right, but not yet, because we're going exploring. These hilly trails doing. Child doing. Aha! Hiding a box. Uh, some third beast wanted on this. 
I would have let you boys live, but no. You made me do this. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. Oh man, all this loot. Love it. Wake up. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. She'll treasure this good fortune. Hmm. We'll continue searching that area when the uh, quest takes us there. Oof, actually, there's some more stuff up here. Just chit chatting. Today is a lucky day. What is this? The operator in charge of this test rails is currently away. Test rails will reopen when they return. Okay. I'm assuming that's uh the guy that we were talking to earlier. There's a random box up here. Sus. Yep. Ah, I see it. Car performs the uh, of the choo choo car are split into locked and unlocked. 
First time a crew car is in operation, it reaches a locked car platform. That car platform will be unlocked. When the crew car passes by already activated car platforms, it will not stop and will continue onward. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Jubilant wave. Magical weapon mounted on the car can unleash a jubilant wave with which attack cheering bloaty floaties. Press the button on the left and right sides to fire this wave off either side of the tracks. Okay. The track is damaged up ahead. We need to make some repairs before we can go any further. Yep, looks like it's all reverted to a preprint state here. Do you know why that happened? Everything in this domain starts as a preprint and only takes shape after being illuminated by the streaming projector. But the Hydro Idolon that forms the tracks here has been trapped in the print. So someone needs to go into the preprint and rescue the Hydro Idolon, right? And she's off. But the projector here is sealed up by a giant bubble. That's the Hydro Idolon's way of protecting the device from damage. If the streaming projector broke, then we'd be seriously stuck. Aha! So for step one, we need water droplet to help! Aww, it seems to really like that name! <laughs> um, any volunteers for step two? I'm up. I'm gonna keep an eye on Klee. <laughs> ah, so the Hydroid Dolan was locked up in that chest. Keep going then. Not so fast. Future car requires the power of a hydro idolon to operate when a hydro idolon decoporalizes and enters the car. Its windows will light up. At this time, you will be able to ride the car. Okay. When it's on, yeah, yeah, we got it. Nice, nice attempt at grabbing there, Ayaka. <laughs> I'll be right back, just gonna use the bathroom.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. It took longer than I thought. Alrighty, what's next? Anything up here? Nope. Alright. What's this? Wait, so what? Huh? Why can I activate that? Oh, so I have to be on the thing? Fuck, I didn't see that crate. Dolans are like helpers here. As for my brother as well, <sighs> those two. You'll meet them soon enough. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. This thing is cool. Something up there? I'm not sure. Wait, what? Oh, so I gotta, like, I can restart it. All right. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. It's like a summon it. Oh no, that's the area I investigated before. I'm sure I investigated that side, but... Hmm. It seems like anything is over there anyway. Here, on the other hand... Hmm. 
Yep, I thought so. Today is a lucky day. I see a droplet just chilling over there. Uh. Ah, son of a bitch. Huh? Huh? Climb! Nothing? Hmm. I think it's faster just to take the whole thing. And although from afar it looked like nothing was over there, but let me take a closer look. Stamina. Nothing? You're just chilling? Mm, you're just chilling. That was uh, quite the detour. Ah, oh, that's cool. I see that little thing down there too. Seems we've just about finished repairing the station and the connecting tracks. Let's go check the track switcher now. It's over there. But this thing. Thank you.
I barely saw that one. She'll treasure this good fortune. Explore a little bit here. that you were digging for. I shall treasure this good fortune. Ooh, hide and seek. What else? Ah, I see him. She'll treasure this good fortune. That's probably the um, droplet that accesses that chest. Hey, can you help me out there, buddy? She'll treasure this good fortune. Thank you, thank you. I think it's up top. Just gotta make the climb. Yeah. 
she'll treasure this good fortune. Man, I am so ready, ready for uh, pulling that ca new character. Wait, what? Interesting. Clock 30. Oh, and I get his outfit from this. Trying to get back to the green track. Wait, was it down there? No, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that bit down there. Or that bit. Oh, I gotta go through the whole thing. Ugh. Lot of stuff I missed. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. We're just gonna go grab this one. Oh, and I see that chest over there. What are you droplets doing? Nothing, okay. Today is a lucky day. There was still something up top I needed.
Alright, it wasn't stop. I thought there was more. Treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. Wait, what? Hello there. See you down there, buddy. Treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. Really, nothing in this big open area. Well, I guess not. All right. Everything. All right, back on track. Well, everything for now. Oh, there's another spinny thing here. It's so big, but uh, not as big as the one we saw in the middle of this place. That one was huge. I bet it's something super important. I remember what Kaya said earlier. Very good, Klee. You're using what you saw earlier to make observations, like a real adventurer! Hmm... It appears to be a system that rotates to switch tracks. That's right! Originally, all you had to do was flip this switch, and the junction would rotate. Hmm... But it seems Jeremy still hasn't fixed it yet. He sure talks big, but when it comes to actually getting things done... Is this Jeremy you mentioned one of your brothers? Yeah. When I talked to him about repairing the tracks, I suggested we start with the station, but he said we should start at the junction. Really, it made no difference which one we started with, but he just had to turn it into a huge argument. He always treats me like I'm a fool and disagrees with anything I say. Hmm. Let's see what he has to say now that I've already fixed the tracks. If you ask me, you're clearly a sharp person, Ferdinand. Yes. Finally, someone who can recognize that, rather than just shrugging off my ideas. Come on, let's make our way to the junction and see what he's up to. I bet he's still fretting over what to do. Alrighty, let's do this. Sometimes I can't help but get angry just thinking of Jeremy. 
You should have seen him back in the sandstorm. I suggested we go east, and he argued that we should go west. You were in a sandstorm? What happened after that? We separated and each went our own way. Lucky for us, we stumbled across this domain. Otherwise, I'm sure we would have been buried in the sand. What else we got here? Oh, I guess it was to get that thing. All right. God damn it. I was trying to avoid that. I missed that guy too. <sighs> All right, back in action. It seem like I have to collect the droplets again. Shit, I see that down there. Everything will get better once we get the switcher working again. Hmm. Still stuck here just as I expected. Well, did you make any progress? Didn't I already tell you? Just have the Hydroidolans fix the junction and then make a new cart. After that, we can use the junction to... Wait a minute, how did you get here? It took a lot of effort for me to climb all the way up here. The answer is standing right in front of you. Huh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Those travelers must have helped you. You never get anything done on your own. You always get someone else's help and then try to take the credit for yourself. You're one to talk. What have you managed to accomplish, huh? You were here just moping around all day. Oh, they started arguing the moment they saw each other. But aren't they supposed to be brothers? Yeah, it is normal behavior. Between siblings. <laughs> Me? His brother? <laughs> Hardly. <sighs> All right, Jeremy. That's enough. Ugh, <sighs> fine. I'd rather be focusing my efforts on fixing the track switch rather than arguing anyway. You should calm down too, Ferdinand. Let's all focus on the situation at hand. It fine. Oh, shit, I- ugh, I skipped it. I should have let her finish. I'm sorry you had to see that. My name's Jeremy. I'm one of the people responsible for taking care of this area. I assume you're the ones who helped repair the tracks. Thank you very much. It means a lot. No need to thank us. We're just trying to help Idea restore the domain. I see. Now that you and Ferdinand brought the cart up here, we'll need the Hydroidolans to fix the area below. Them again, huh? Seems the Hydroidolans are really important around this place. 
Yes, of course. Not only do they keep the junction turning, they operate practically everything else in the domain, too. All right. Seems most of the tracks and junctions have been repaired now. Sweet. Yep. So maybe it's time you give credit where credit is due, hmm? What? You think you deserve the credit? If anything, we should be thanking these travelers. Uh, you... Well, either way, you're not the one getting any credit. You're always quick to criticize my ideas and push your own, but you never actually get anything done. And what about you? Don't forget it was Hado and I who took care of the mess that one time you impulsively tried one of your brilliant ideas. Uh, speaking of Hado, wasn't he with you? I left early this morning. I assumed he'd be with you. Seriously? Couldn't you have at least looked to see where he was before you left? Hey, come on! You didn't see him either, so what's your excuse? Clee? You don't like seeing people argue? I don't get it. Nobody did anything bad. Why are they arguing? Oh, Clee. I... Uh, I just don't like his smug attitude, that's all. Who are you calling smug? If anything, you're the one who's making such a big fuss right now. All right, I think we've heard enough from you two. If you insist on bickering, then I'd suggest you go somewhere else. Otherwise, I'll just cool you two off myself. Woo, Kaya. Uh... <sighs> now, come with me. I'd like to have a word with you. Phew. Don't be upset, Klee. There are many complicated situations in this world which don't always have a logical explanation. As the passing traveler here, it's not my place to comment on their disputes. But in my experience, family issues can be the toughest to resolve. Seems you don't like dealing with this kind of thing either, Kokomi. Who would? I don't know how to explain my feelings. I'm sorry. We've calmed down. We shouldn't argue in front of a child like that. We're sorry, Klee. It's okay. Back to the topic at hand. Weren't you about to go look for your brother, Hado? Ah, right. Our best guess is he's somewhere around the Torrential Twister. We would have to use the junction to send the cart to another area. Sorry to trouble you again, but would you help us find him? As long as you promise not to argue. Oh. All right. Hey, come on, you two. Your brothers, after all. Can't you try to get along? Thank you, buddy. Let us see what else we have here. Yeah, I got that idea. Okay, this is the end of this track segment. Auto should be nearby. See what the other paths lead.
Heck yeah. No droplets here? None at all? Why is that then an aggro? Ugh, we're back. Alrighty. Looks like we got a challenge up. Thought I saw bubbles. Anyway. All right. I shall treasure this good fortune. Mm, no teleport up there. Looks like we gotta go the long way. Wait, this one has to teleport, so what the fuck am I doing? Alright, and this time we don't separate off the track like we did originally. We just ride it all the way through.
Yeah, I fucked up. Sorry. You didn't hear me cursing at that point. <laughs> Good. So sorry about that, people. Oh, but I can't even access that thing either, because... Ugh. I got nervous and I preemptively, like, turned it off. Oh, and there's something over there. Oh, okay, I'm glad I went back, actually, because I wouldn't have noticed that. Mark that there for future reference. Help me out here, buddy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. I should have switched. Ah, uh, I got fucked up. Oh, or not. <laughs> All right, that was fun. Day. Now we're just gonna take it to go to that spot. That one spot. So we can get the chest. Take us in a little closer. And here's a stop.
will treasure this good fortune. Alrighty. Just to unlock that thing up there. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> Do your thing. There we go. Got the arrow before I even grab that barrel. And I fucked that up. Alright, without sucking, let's try this. That's where I wanted to go. What track is this? This is the green track, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. Now we can switch tracks. taking us. Oh, I see the track in the map. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, 
Damn, there's just so much stuff to do in here. Where am I gliding to? Okay. I thought there was something in here. Treasure this good fortune. Wow. It's like several fails in half. Today is a lucky day. Oh, there's one on the way back. Oh, and this. Treasure this good fortune. Fucking feeding, feeding frenzy with these primos. Today is a lucky day. Mm -hmm. 
This event has been so much fun. I know I said that like three times, but it's always it's still so fucking fun. Thank you. Where do you lead? I'm not sure if I made it up there. In which case? Wait, what is this? God just gave his monster infestation. Try God or sorry. Okay. Too long because the monster can't be cured. Clears the way. We can take him. Write it throughout now. Ooh, glad I didn't switch, yeah. Nothing else up here? Really? I was just backtracking. Wait, wait, I see a bunch of mushrooms down there. Yep. Here's the chest. Oh, well, what do we have here? Aha. Uh -huh. Not who I was aiming at, but okay. Take flight. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. Alright, that just leaves the main track now.
Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. Wait, this is a green track? Hmm, a l lighter green than the one I'm, than the ones I'm usually familiar with. I only wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. <laughs> How greedy of me. Actually, let me abandon that. Talk to the guy first, then do it. Because I got the feeling the challenge is going to lead the way to where we need to go next. Ah, I guess you had repaired the tracks and stations as soon as I saw a cart come zipping along. <coughs> now that the tracks, station, and carts are all repaired, we're about ready to reopen Torrential Twister. It will be good to see my design back in action again. <sighs> You're in no condition to be out running around like this, Hato. <laughs> yeah, but these are unusual circumstances. <coughs> That's true, but you should stop to think things through. Exactly. If there's anything that needs to be done, you can just let Ferdinand and I take care of it. <laughs> you and Ferdinand? Together? It would be a miracle for you two to do anything together without fighting. Hey! That's between Jeremy and me. No need to add fuel to the fire, okay? Uh, I'm not trying to make trouble. I'm just saying. <coughs> hey, Ferdinand? Oh, uh, don't worry. We're not arguing, Clee. We're just, uh, discussing some things. Are you and Jeremy worried about Hotto? Hmm? Why don't you just talk to him about it? Kaya's also worried about me sometimes, but he doesn't ever criticize me. You're right, but our relationship is much better than these guys. Uh, well, our situation is a little different. Really? How so? We've been through this kind of thing before. If we didn't warn Hado, then he wouldn't take it seriously and something would eventually happen. As his brothers, we have to help him. But it doesn't look like you're helping. Huh? Maybe Klee doesn't understand everything. But my mommy told me that you help someone to make them feel happy, not to make yourself happy. Hado sure doesn't look very happy. Why don't you ask him what he needs? She's so sweet. Hmm. Klee's right, you know. You three need to open up and talk things through. You are brothers after all. <sighs> I, um... Ahem. I've always cared a lot about you, Hado. Just like when we were back in the desert. You suddenly passed out and Jeremy and I started arguing. Eventually all three of us ended up in this domain. I'm just worried that something similar could happen again. If you were to pass out and with nobody around to help you... <sighs> I know. But this domain is nowhere near as dangerous as the desert. I was thinking that if I could handle these problems myself, then you two wouldn't have to argue about anything. If it weren't for my poor health and lack of energy all the time, then I wouldn't have always been such a burden on you two. No need to feel guilty, Hado. This was our choice. The three of us love adventuring. No one is a burden on anyone. Isn't that why we came up with the idea for this area? I would do the thinking, Ferdinand would use his muscle, and you would... Draw the blueprints and build tracks. It'll be a safe way to see all kinds of amazing scenery. Yes, that was the plan. <laughs> see? Doesn't it feel better just to get along? Hey, what are you trying to say? You make it sound like I've only been trying to talk myself up. The choo-choo cart is great, Ferdinand. Really? You know, Clee, having the car zip along the tracks was my idea. Yeah, what an amazing idea! You're so smart! Hey, Klee, do you want to ride even more fun carts? Yay! Let's ride more! Looks like all three of them are trying.
trying to win Klee's approval now. And Klee is loving it. Klee hasn't realized it yet, but her innocent, childlike nature is very powerful. It can inspire and even help heal others. Hey, everyone. Please come with me. We need to get the Hydro Idolin in the cart to help us. I was wrong about that other thing. Good. Torrential Twister is ready to run now. Let's go to the station at the start of the track. Hado and I have double-checked everything. It's all operating safely. You can go for a ride now. Hold on Let's a do sec. It. Before we say goodbye, I have something I'd like to give you all. It's a rock climbing rope. We used it on our adventures to climb mountains and traverse many places. Yes, of course. Please take it. Thanks to Klee and everyone else's help, we realize that there's a special bond that keeps us together. Even though it's invisible, it's even more important than rope. We can always hold on to it through tough situations. Huh? I helped? <laughs> yes, Klee. You are a big help. Even bigger than that huge thing in the middle of this place? <laughs> yes, much bigger. I'm so happy. By the way, have you ever seen anything like the choo-choo cart in the outside world? Nope. Today was the first time I rode anything like it. Is that so? <coughs> I guess I'm not surprised. Seems you won't find Torrential Twister anywhere else. Be sure to come back and ride the choo-choo carts again while you still have the chance. Later, bros.
And now adventure goes. Aw, she. Almost missed that batch. <laughs> Please, love like this. Water drop the crossing. Let's go. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. Me back there was like, oh. Wait, but if being able to fly makes you a mage, what does that make Kaya since he's here too? Nothing. Kaya's just a master thief. Don't you remember, Paimon? Hmm. Oh, right. Guess it slipped Paimon's mind. <laughs> Sorry to bother our young mage, but there's something a master thief would like to report. Do you still remember our mission? having so much fun that I almost forgot. <laughs> We're supposed to be helping Adia look for the missing components. But don't worry. I've already got one. You mean you snatched it when we weren't looking? <laughs> I didn't have to go that far. In fact, the component we were searching for was actually that orange rope. If anything, you could say it came right into our hands at the right time. Let's head back and give it to Adia. Aw, oh, do we really have to go? <sighs> okay. Even though I want to keep playing, I know Adia is really important. And that's our ways, mage. <sighs> Don't worry. Tonight, you'll be able to see stars in the water and watch fish dance in the sky. <laughs> she looks so out of it. Kokumi's out of it after that ride. Her face is completely blank and her lip was trembling while she was speaking. <sighs> Maybe we should have a rest for a while. We're in no rush. You shouldn't push yourself. Uh, huh? I thought I was keeping my composure pretty well. Don't worry. My mind is always spinning. I'm used to this. We should head back to Idea. How about we hold hands, Miss General? Klee will give you energy. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. After holding Klee's hand, the stars in the sky and the fish in the water have all disappeared. I must have been seeing things from riding the cart. <sighs> hmm? What are you smiling about, Kokomi? Uh huh? Oh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> nothing. Nothing at all. Of course, they have to block it because the models aren't actually holding hands.
Swift these barrels on the road. Hope it wasn't a code that I fucked up. I bet it was. Yep, I knew it. Anybody can you help me? Alright, that one, that one. Then what? All right, as one. There we are. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. Thank you, buddy. Can't carry it. Cut can only carry a max of three stones at a given time. Okay. You pass through the. Yeah, I already figured that one out. See what else is in here. It's a very spooky cave. What's that? Capturing light and shadow. Explore the mysterious cave. It looks similar to the views you can see outside, but some, just like before, a place like this must have its secrets. Let's go exploring. Look at that. Is that a water droplet? Yes, it is. I took aggro from all the way up there. What the fuck? <laughs> Today is a lucky day. There are some pieces of paper here. Are they someone's notes? Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, I'm right back.
Alrighty, let's head back to it. Great artists must leave some behind for future generations. I guy for height blah. I'm confident that one day people will compete just to read my addition I addition notes? Ideation? Fucking I can't read. In which case. <laughs> I can't read. There we go. Anyway. Something blocks long way. As he promises youngsters and all of this just means irrelevant. This teacher said, I got a lot. The falling out between them was inevitable. And what's the worst that could happen? Never going to that studio again. At least I'm not living in the past. Oh my god, I'm so skimming this. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> to after the minds of all who lay eyes on the painting with the absolute beauty of our lines and shades, that is what we are supposed to create. Oh, so this is just the artist of the mural. Only that's gonna sense of beauty connects between Kvade. It's time for me to set out my artist's journey on one land, and on the other I shall enlighten it. Alright. Fuck, that was irrelevant. <laughs> Judging by the words they use, it seems like a painter's diary. But Paimon gets it. Without that kind of nerve, no matter what you do, it can be hard to master quickly. But this diary doesn't say much. Paimon's kind of curious about what happened to him after that. Perhaps we could find the rest of the diary somewhere else. Alex, let's just keep an eye out for it, okay? <laughs> I even gave up on the voices. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just, like, so out of it. Wait, what about other stuff? Ah. Whirling snow! God damn it. Does that make sense? There must be something wrong. I must admit, I have encountered some extraordinary arts since I left the studio. I also. <laughs> Frick. I am too aware that my works are not yet equal to the player. Sorry, so he's encountering competition basically. Concentrate on honing your skills with a brush. First, I must collect enough funds. I've heard that the more confident you are, the worse it feels when you get a hit by a serious setback. Yeah, I know that feeling. I was a little worried about his mental health, but uh, it's been a Hello long time, there. so there's nothing we can do for him. Yeah. Hi, Sin. How's it going? Go to bed. I will. <laughs> Soon. But missions. Five months concerned about what happened to him after that. Boy. What? <laughs> You're tired to go sleep. Alright, I will. I will soon. Just after this quest. At least this side quest. What does that do? Alright, that brings me way the fuck back over there. Why? No idea. 
Yeah, that was, that was, those are words. Alright, buddy, work your magic. The water droplet broke the seal on another... Huh? That huge marrow looks a little different now. Paimon thinks that the water droplet was guiding us to adjust or to fix this mural. Looks like we gotta find other screen protectors to put everything that doesn't look in place. Maybe something will happen after that. I see one up there. Wait, where did it go? Come on, man, do your thing. Another long track, let's follow it to find a choo choo cart. What is that? Oh, it's this. Bar? There's crystal with spots of radiance that seem to be able to sense joyous emotions in certain radius around it and lead people to corresponding direction. You need to find joyous vouchers in a AOE. Ooh. But they're pretty easy to spot, I mean. Oh. Or they're hidden. A marvelous crystal with our radiance that you sense blah 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 blah. Yeah, we just read that. Blade embraces its duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gem. Hmm. This place feels strange. That fire's casting it. The water droplet is trembling. Is it? Freezing in fear? Quick drags, we gotta do something to help. There you go, buddy. Part three. Looking back now, I was indeed short strider after spending months. The Benova and Powerful Fairy. The legend does exist. I was even fortunate enough to. Wait, the benevolent and powerful oceanid acts that I call her Idea. Oh shit. The beloved and powerful oceanid acts that I call her Idea's name is, has indeed been mentioned in many legends and fairy tales. Does mean that I was right. She must know of universal blue beauty. To <laughs> beauty. <laughs> She appeared when I was on the verge of giving up. This must be a sign that all the hardship I've been through were tests she set before me. I must forsake all errant thought and present my request in all earnest. But she gave me a magical drawing board as a gift, together with the painting materials. I expect there is no realistic hope that I might improve leap bounds. Comfortable place to be anyway. I don't have to worry about food or clothing. And wondrous creatures named Hydro Eidolons to keep me company here. When do I feel creeped out upon first encountering these flexible pudding like creatures? 
with the beautiful color of gems. But I have found that they are all kind of no no. Make far better company than those arrogant fellows with face. Yeah. So when I went to the Mirage, I bore witness to a scene of unimaginable magnificence I could often change the pace leaves me well relaxed. Alright. Interesting. Is the one that Idea gave to the painter as a canvas. Hmm, it seems not only he found landscapes he loved in the Rillaram Mirage. Also made friends with water droplets and found some new inspirations for his paintings. Quite the fortunate encounter. Eek, now that you mention it, Paimon's heard of some people that go nuts after a failure. They just keep trying harder and harder until they lose themselves. Means determination. Thanks to the painting tools Idea provided and the company of the water droplets, he stayed on the right track. Oh shit, almost forgot. Fuck. Make sure to give Sin a follow. Ooh, some dead by daylight. I almost went to the second hook state. Oh my god, you gave me so much anxiety! I need to get high. I need to get higher for this. I'm not high enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, answers you. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. What? Where are you going? <laughs> Bro, there's a chest so- Ah, oh, there it is. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. There we are. Today is a lucky day. All right, where are you taking me, buddy? Die. So this is how the seal is broken. We can take this path to other places. Whole lot of mora. Yo, thing. If we keep it up, we'll restore the mural to its original form in no time.
It's pointing downward from here. further down. Thanks to companionship and help of the Hydro Eidolons, I finished first part of this piece. Standards I once held, I would not have rated this mural as a masterpiece in any way. But with the passage of time and the changes in the environment... Only when I find myself puzzling over my great masterpiece did I find that I was simply not good enough. I gonna show me a lot of stunning scenes. Untangled the knot in his heart and improved his painting skills. Paimon thinks he'll definitely be really successful. Yeah, I think so too. You just, it's just art is just something you got to keep at. Though he left his water droplet friends behind, which sounds a bit sad to Paimon. Insisting on one's own uniqueness makes sense. Not all artists can accept imitations. Hmm, Paimon can't understand that. There's still something that confuses Paimon. He mentioned something in the diary that the mural can lose its shape and shift. But even after such a serious accident, the mural seems alright. It's these water droplets. They protected their friend's mural. Oh, that's right. No wonder the water droplets are so familiar with the streaming projector and restoring the mural. It's so moving. Water droplets may look, may not look that bright, but they are really considerate and loyal friends. Got a hint for us? Or it doesn't matter the order. There seems to be a water drop that can get through that fence. Yeah, can you help me up, buddy? Yeah. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. A lucky day. Coming, buddy? There we go. Alright, luckily I have all these. There are a few more elemental monies. Let's light them all up. It's a 
very short timer. Do your thing, bro. What the fuck? Let's move to the other bodies. We can leave the Hydra one. Well, can you stay on that one? What the fuck are you doing? You're not doing anything. Okay. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. I guess yes. I just had to wait a little bit longer. Sophisticated. But you coming, bro? I need you. Did it again? The mural is going to be restored to its former self. The water droplets are gathering towards the mural. It seems that they just can't leave it behind. Any of you guys going to help me? No? Okay. Lead the way. Oh, just right there? Okay. Lucky day. And away we go. Alright, this should be the most critical step. Let's keep it up, Thradix. As long as we, as long as we use the power of the streaming projectors, we can completely restore the mural. So I need the stars.
But are things I could like play with to move things around? I don't think I can. In which case, this is gonna be hard. Oh, unless I talk to the droplets? Can you guys do something? No? Okay. Does it matter which order? Well, it seems like I can only do the one order. Sky Keep. Flower of the Valley. Use mural friend of sky keep to restore mural? Yeah. Ah, I see. Fragment of swirling clouds. Viola! All done! Seeing water droplets so happy makes Paimon happy too. You protected the ancestors of friendship. We made the water droplet switch come true. Now, both the painter's friends and their work in the Valerian Mirage are looking their best. Maybe someday the painter will return to visit their friends and look at their masterpiece. Speaking of which, the style of this painting is pretty unique. Even though it's not that fancy, it's still beautiful. And what more important is that Paimon can't understand it. Perhaps if Paimon imitates the style, she can also paint lovely, understandable paintings. Since sensual paintings aren't necessarily complicated. Want to learn how to paint that way, Paimon? Yes. And if it's okay with you, Let's take a picture of this painting. Then Paimon can study the painting whenever she likes. Maybe once Paimon has also painted something that pretty, it'll attract lots of water droplets that want to be Paimon's friends. <laughs> Cute. I shall treasure this good fortune. I'm sure taking a photo is like optional, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just for shits and giggles, I guess. Blade is like a tea leaf. Only those who sample it many times can appreciate its true qualities. There you go, Paimon.
Where in the fuck am I? Oh. I don't know if there's anything backward that I missed. So what is over here? Oh, of course, I'm gonna climb on the wrong side. What are those gems? Oh, they're just decoration. Okay, never mind. Talk. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? The first one detonated instantly, but okay. What's up with you? Oh, scroll one in carrots? Now, what do I do with the actual shaped ones? Do I do I murder? I don't Yeah, like I don't know. If they're supposed yeah. to be friendly, I don't Seems know why they made them killable then. I bet I was to get that, um, uh, one of those things, but I already got it already. 
I went the, did it the hard way. I fucking jumped down from up top. Welcome back. Well, any good news? No, oh, don't tell me. You've taken care of all the problems and now I don't have to do anything? Yep, we took care of everything. Yeah, we even rode the choo-choo cart. Do you want to come ride too? <sighs> uh, but maybe you'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'm a little tired now. Oh. Seems she had a little too much fun and now she's about to crash. <laughs> I think it's time for a rest. Good idea. I think we could all use some downtime. Thanks for giving me some energy, Klee. Then we'll see you later. Bye, Klee. It sounds like our young mage enjoyed herself. I'm so happy that she had a good time. So, back to the missing component. Did you bring it? You yep, bet. yep. Kaya said that the missing component was this orange climbing rope. Ah, it just occurred to me that you probably ran into the three brothers while you were in the canyon. Yep. If I remember correctly, the two eldest brothers were taking their sickly younger brother on adventures when they ran into a sandstorm and ended up here. They were all arguing with one another when they first arrived, but it wasn't long before they broke down and were huddled together in tears. Oh, they sure must have a lot of energy to keep up their bickering and adventuring every day. I'm a little worried about them. Yet, quite envious of all that energy. <laughs> you almost sound as if you're reminiscing about old friends, Idea. Yes, I've known them for quite some time after all. But I seldom go to that area. You can hold on to the rope for now, Traveler. I have no use for it until we have the other components. By the way, Yula and Kale have also returned, but I'm afraid they weren't able to make much headway. They mentioned that they would like to head to the jungle north of here, once you have all rested up. Understood. Now that I've told you everything, I'll go rest. Uh, I mean, I'll go and check on the situation in the remaining two areas. Uh-huh. Do you need me to accompany you? Oh, uh, no, it's all right. You've already accomplished a lot today. You should rest up. I feel that blatant laziness. Okay. That is... What was like, eight? Okay. There, I rested and totally did not like fast forward time or anything. Hey, Kali and Yua! Well, I saw oh, the bubbles on that box. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon. How are you? Did you rest well? I'm feeling refreshed. Yep, this is a comfortable place to rest. I guess that's one thing here that's better than the desert. But other than that, there's not much going for this place. Saying things like that isn't going to help, Adia. But it's the truth. The desert is full of terrible memories for me. Being there was like... Yeah, like wading through thick mud. That's a weird way to put it. Hmm. Actually, if you hadn't mentioned it, Paimon would have already forgotten that this domain is in the desert. Yeah. I know what you mean. The air here isn't at all like the desert. It's very humid. Almost as if we're in the rainforest. It's a very familiar feeling for me. <sighs> Everyone looks well rested. If you're ready, we can start making our way to the jungle north of here. Good luck, everyone. I'll be rooting for you. Hold on. I said we, didn't I? No need to say goodbye, because you're coming too. Huh? But wait, I, I'm, I'm just the mascot! <laughs> you can't back out this time, 
Medea. The manager of the fairgrounds is waiting to see you. She said Medea is the only person who could help. The fairgrounds? Yes. Kale and I discovered a fairgrounds in the forest. The person in charge of it seems to be a Spotamod scholar. A scholar? But what's she doing there? Researching the forest ley lines? Oh, I wish there were ley lines here that I could ever study. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. I'd better come along then. Mirage Paradise in Crisis. Also, reveal yourself, I see you. Yes. Do I have a... No, I do not. Okay. I said I was gonna end soon, but the event. Uh. Alright, how about this? How about take a little break here, and I'll like eat something that'll probably give me myself enough fuel to keep going. So I'll be right back. Look for some foods. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Because I just got a notification that's... Someone tried to get in with my Facebook account? The fuck? Hold on. Uh, hold on. Facebook. Not that I use Facebook anyway, anymore. Uh huh, everything looks fine. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Things, privacy. Now an account center, yeah, 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 yeah. We know all that. Your part of things, your activity. Oh, just the one? Okay. Well, my, I recommend an act that you don't have. It will generate a code whenever you log in. in the barcode yeah sorry about this fellas okay nine two ba -ba -ba.
I don't even remember my own goddamn password. Professor Ganser is a crook. Okay. Is it on? I hope it's on. All right, looks on. All right. True, I might not use Facebook like that, but um, gotta make sure your accounts are secure, right? Anyway, food. Be right back. Let's see if I can like pull up a video or some shit. Hmm, what do I want to watch? I don't want anything too long. Final Fantasy fans react to oh Hold on, let's see. That was a long ass video. Well, something short, something good. Jesus, most of the shit I watch is like an hour long. Oh, I don't think I finished watching that video. Alright, hold on. I got something for us. Don't you worry. Wait, where'd it go? Where the fuck did it go? Oh, there. Should be. And you're Horrible fucking. Um, what else was I doing?
Alright, I'll be back with my food. Alright, we got Sea Dog VA and Iron Mouse playing some sort of surgeon simulator. So here we go. We're clearly not gonna watch the whole thing because, I mean, there's not much to eat. I'm just eating a bacon egg from McDonald's. Okay, play. You're shitting yourself on the floor, dragging his leg around like a monkey. Listen, patient care is my number one priority. Yeah, Comfort, then why'd you rip his leg security. off? Security. What are you doing? What are I'm you doing? Break his ribs. You're breaking his ribs with a medical box? You know there's knives in here, right? Listen, sometimes in medicine, you need to be unconventional. We literally killed this man. No, we didn't. We saved his life because <laughs> we, we gave him proper medical care. We literally killed this man. Look how much blood he lost. <laughs> Connor is the best doctor. Bad. I trusted with my life, bro. I didn't know what a stomach was apparently ten minutes ago. I don't think you want me <laughs> operating on you. All right, he needs. Oh my god, he needs his arms and legs replaced. All of them. I see a vent. Nurse, can you help me? Where you go? <laughs> I need to stack these. What the f you still at that? What do you mean? We have nothing else to do. This is where we gotta go. Are you sure that's where we have to go? 100%. We're so close to greatness, Mouse. Jesus, the <laughs> determination. <laughs> this is better than any f***ing house ever. <laughs> Why are you laughing, huh? <laughs> this is gonna be the best f***ing feat of engineering that this game has ever seen. Let's go! We broke the game! Oh, there's the fuses! Oh, you got in here too? Yeah, there's the fuse. There's tons of them on the floor. There's arms here too. <gasps> oh my god! Did you get flying? There's a Francito here! What's that? There's Francito! Oh, I'm stuck. You're stuck? Oh, the hand <laughs> got it jammed! No! The hand jammed it! No! No, the hand- Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't press it, don't press it. Where's my hand? <laughs> Where'd the hand go? It's up there! Yo, what the f- Wait, let's see if it gets jammed again. Oh my god, the game- It's broken the game. Okay, wait, you can still- uh, Undo it, undo it. Don't go in there, don't go in there. We've broken the game. Hold on, let me grab a hand. Let me grab another one. Alright, I made it out. I made it out with the hand. We did it. Christ. Oh my god. What the, f <laughs> what the fuck is this game? So let's start with the. Uh, is this right on? You said arm? look how many hands there are on the floor, right? Oh, well, legs, you just, just said legs. look how many hands there are all on the right, floor. Alright, alright, alright. All, all right. I see are legs. Are all you okay? Alright, all right, let's take off this arm and let's put this on. Nice. You so Right on. There's not a... What? What? What are you saying? Why are you singing High School Musical? Nothing. <laughs> How did you know it was High School Musical? Because I love High School Musical. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's really good. All right, rip off this one. Yeah, but which one do you like better, High School Musical One or Two? Two. 
Me too. My my order is two, one, three. Oh, three sucks. Three does suck. That's why third is the last one. Oh, oh. Put it on. Put it on first. Quick. I'm trying. Fighting. It's not working. Did you take on the right one? Yes. It's not attaching. Oh. Crawling in my skin. Why won't it attach? These wounds, they cannot heal. Try it, try it, try it. I'm going to inject him. Yes! Yes, you're better than me. I can't attach it. I'm, I'm, I'm crap. I'm boosted. Surgeon Mouse. Oh my god, we actually did it. Oh my god. I thought we were never going to be done with that level. I don't want anyone sticking their nose in. Sticking the nose in. Ooh, I thought it was called... Point oh, it's just brew. Oh no, we need both of us to have a game All right, let's do it. You know, you can, you can, uh, you know, you can drop it on the thing, right? Like here. You didn't oh, need me. Oh, I forgot. No, no, you forgot. <laughs> what are you doing? Turn it face up. Press it, press it. What the hell? This is his left leg, right? Right? Just put it on. No, oh, you fell off! What the f***ing shit the? Put it back! Is he dead? Oh, he's close to dying. Let's do it fast. Close to dying, close to dying. Oh. I hate it that it does that, that you can just knock the arm out of place. How does that make any f***ing sense? Go. Oh, clean. <gasps> what? What? Oh no, he's dying! He is dying! No! Stop waving the fing leg around. Give me head. <laughs> I'm giving him head. You turn organ ripping into an art. We saved him. You turn organ ripping into an art. Isn't it under the kidneys? Oh shit! How do you bump a man's arm off? What is you this? Bump it off. I, didn't I know. Bump it off. I know. I'm wondering how that is even possible. How do you bump a man's arm off? I can't get to the liver because you put the small intestine in well, it. Well, pull it out then. We'll put it back in. Okay. There you go. You, you grab nothing. You grab nothing. Crack your fucking head. Don't beat the shit out of him. All right. Liver only. Why did you have to like smash bros? What the f was that? <laughs> like you did like a fucking jump. Oh, you didn't do it properly, that's why. What's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing. You gotta, like, slam dunk it in. Nice! Kobe! No, 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 no! Are you stupid or are you stupid? I am a professional! <laughs> okay, okay, stop, he's dead! Don't need this. Why are you pulling out his lungs? Don't stop. Do you stop. want me to get to the liver or no? That's not how you get to the liver. Yes, it is. You gotta get those ribs out, I'm guessing. What are you doing? Why are you jumping over? What are you doing? I'm trying to get his liver out. Can you please? Du, 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 du. All right, get his small intestine out. <laughs> Alright, we got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> Why does it look like we're about to do something really f***ing evil with the like with this thing being summoned and like our arms in this position? We did it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. <laughs> that was so hard. If you enjoyed this video featuring me and Mouse, isn't that right, Mouse? Say hi. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to the Connor Dog channel so you don't miss out on more streams like me and Mouse f***ing around. What, what are you doing? What about you, Mouse? What, what are you saying? Uh, yeah, we like f***ing around. <laughs> what? It's subscribe to the Connor Dog channel and come watch the YouTube live streams. <sighs> Alright. Winter, what's going on? How you doing? Was taking a quick food break, but I'm back. <clears throat> Let me give you a shout out.
Is my model still good? Oh, I found a chest. I found a chest. I found a chest. I found a chest. I think it's good. Ew. Give me a better chest. <laughs> good. Just got done playing Remnant on the hardest difficulty, and it didn't go well. Ah. I'll just keep at it. I believe in you. Believe in me. Who believes in you? I, I knew I saw bubbles. What would you got for me? Money. Chat, pause because dude's a scroll. Oh, well, resume. Here we go. I haven't played, um, Remnant 1 or 2, but for it to get a sequel, I mean, it must be popular. Let me reset my model. Okay. Make sure the tracking is okay. Supplies often when you're out in the wild. Got a spinny thingy. Once you picked up a gleaming lamp's brilliant mirror, you can grant the color to the lamp's light. When the correct color of light shines upon the lamp gem, the gem will be activated and certain treasure chests or other devices will be unlocked. Interesting. Hmm. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. Are you sus? <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. That barrel sure looks sus. Yep. Yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to get, get some rest if it's late your time. Even after that meal, I'm sort of semi here, brain wise. I shall treasure this good fortune. Yeah, I'm heading to bed. I hope you have a great stream. Thanks for thanks again for the raid, Winter. I really appreciate you stopping by. Please get as much rest as you need. And have a good night. Oh my god, fuck. Almost forgot. <laughs> Hello everyone, my <laughs> My name is Threadix, I'm a white knight VTuber. I stream a variety of video games and art. I'm so good at this, I swear. What's wrong with you guys? What are you doing? Huh? Oh. I shall treasure this good fortune. If you bring a brilliant mirror into illuminated radius of a different color gleaming lamp, the mirror will be 
subsumed? Eh? Ah, I got it, I got it. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sufficient. Finally, someone has arrived. Wow, you two look a lot alike. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mimuna. We've brought a deal with us. Thank you, Kale. It's been quite some time since I've seen you, Idia. To be honest, I didn't think you'd actually show up. If anything, I thought you'd be curled up somewhere crying alone. <laughs> wow. Hey. You shouldn't be saying things like that. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be the first time Paimon's heard someone say that about a Dia, though. You wanna see me cry? Fine! I'll stop crying right here! Uh, no, please don't! <laughs> alright, alright, I shouldn't have said that. Now, who are these two? Hi, I'm Thradix. And Paimon is Paimon! They're reliable helpers. Lucky for you that I found them. You'd better be more careful about how you speak to them, okay? Of course. Good to meet you. You may call me Maymuna. For the sake of time, we should forego the usual pleasantries. Please follow me. I think this is what, like a three-parter? Nothing. Was I here before? No, I wasn't. Okay. Alright, and this is gonna be part three, I'm assuming. Would a fairground be without a tent, right? Really? Oh, I knew you couldn't be so pathetic. <laughs> Jesus. I spell the time to hide your actual abilities. Uh, huh? What is it, Kale? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should tell you. Uh oh. I'm afraid it might dampen the mood. <sighs> That's not important. Please, just speak your mind. Uh. Well, there are lots of vendor booths set up here, but there's no one running them. In fact, there's no one at this fair at all. It looks pretty deserted. The truth is, this used to be an exciting and bustling place. But just a few days ago, something happened, and it seemed like... Like, the world was suddenly flipped upside down? Yes, exactly. Something fell from the central hub into the tent and knocked down the crystal light that was hanging at the top. Oh, the crystal light. Mm-hmm. I remember a certain someone said that we should have beautiful lights to celebrate at a fair, and made us that crystal light. But once the light fell, the tent became a complete mess and the Hydro Eidolans were trapped inside. Just when I was at my wit's end, a man from the Lawrence clan came and offered his assistance. Oh, Eula's brother. Wait, he offered to help you? Yes, and he refused to listen to any of my warnings. He just walked straight into the tent, and then... Yes? And then? Yeah! Don't leave us hanging here! What happened? And that's it. He became trapped inside along with the Hydro Eidolans. Well, at least now we know where her brother is. Oh no! We have to do something! We can't just leave him there, Maymuna! I know, but the situation inside might be more difficult than you think. You should mentally prepare yourselves. <laughs> Tr 
Just talking about it is a waste of time. Since we're already here, let's go and scout out the situation ourselves. <sighs> All right. This way, please. We're going in, gents. There used to be a large stage inside, but after everything got shaken up, it seems the very nature of the entire place was altered. The lamps and crystal light that were hanging above have all fallen down, which makes repair- Wait, so you mean it's difficult to move around in there? Yes, mainly because of the lights. Do any of you have experience being on stage? Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on you. Hey, Painted, what's going on? Thank you for the lurk. How you doing? Let me give you a shout out. Please, everyone, make sure to give these lovely people a follow. <laughs> One of the many besties we have at the Crystal Pack. Crystal Den. Same thing. Sorry. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, painted. Thank you again for the work. Uh, I can't right. stand that feeling. Having everyone's attention focus solely on me would just make me feel terrible. Me too! I'm no good at speaking in front of people. And then to have everyone staring at you? Oh, just the thought of it makes me shudder. Sounds like you have some things you haven't been able to let go of yet. <sighs> Please don't laugh. I'm trying my best to change that, but... There are still some things I can't overcome. Like when there's a lot of people around, or when people are staring at me. Oh, Cole. No, there's nothing funny about that. And you know what? It's not a bad thing to care when other people are looking. That's my opinion anyway. Think about it. Only people who have high standards for themselves would worry about failing to meet others' expectations. Damn, Yulish character changed, like, incredibly when you first met her. So, like, vengeance will be mine, and then, like, I guess they... That was too much of a meme personality, and they wanted a more serious character. You have many good qualities, Kale. I bet if you had to learn dance since childhood like myself, then you'd be an even better dancer than me. I'm glad to see her, like, uh, around more, though. Because she is considered, like, you know, part of the Knights of Favonia, so seeing her around Mondstadt more often is nice to see. I hope we can see her more, or at least a little bit more, outside of events. No, no way! <laughs> that would be impossible! I can relate. I know exactly how she feels. Maybe we should find a time for you to learn with me. And one day, you will become an outstanding dancer too. By that time, you'll be so focused on performing your beautiful moves that you'll no longer worry about an audience watching you. Passionate about this that she's practically glowing now. Really? You do that? You wouldn't think I look stupid and secretly laugh at me, would you? <laughs> you really think I'm that kind of person? Fine. Vengeance will be mine. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now that's who you lie now. Oh, no. Of course not. O all right. Please teach me. Seems there's no need for me to warn you again. Anyway, you just need to open the curtain and you'll be able to see the stage. Still a lot more tame compared to before though. Rotate lamp, yep, there you go. What do you mean cannot use- oh, I can't use it in here, alright. 
It's been locked up. Well, let's figure out a way to fix this. Looks like we need to raise the platform underneath the crystal light. If I remember correctly, the stage controls should be somewhere around here. You mean this thing? We have to use the colorful lens to make the light change colors. Yep, I know the spiel. Wait, colored what? pieces of the bullet have melted. Yes, the lens is made of materials that are easily melted by light. Is it me or do I smell something sweet here? For mercy. <laughs> That's one way of shining new light on the problem. Hey, me, Luna. Happen to know someone named Sino? No, never heard that name before. Why do you ask? Oh, never mind then. <laughs> I was just thinking you two would have a lot in common. <clears throat> Back to the situation at hand. We should probably head into the passageway that opened now. Oh, they have her using this bow. Interesting. Lawrence? Who are you? Who has the audacity to utter my full name? Do you not recognize her, bro? Uh, you sure don't look like you're in any condition to be talking like that. Oh, cousin, not brother. Right. Yep. He's a member of the Lawrence clan, all right. Even though he's hanging on by a thread, he still insists on clinging to meaningless etiquette. You. What are you doing here? Huh. Have you come here to mock me, Eula? If you would just think for a moment, it should be pretty obvious why we are here. Yet, now you're intentionally trying to provoke me? Of course, you don't have to accept my help. After all, aristocrats are naturally superior and need no help from others. Yes, thanks for the reminder. I don't need help from the likes of you. I don't think he really needs it, Eula. His tone was harsh, but he keeps glancing at you from the corner of his eyes. It's my opinion as the healer that he needs help. Okay. <laughs> he's been trapped for so long that it seems he's forgotten how to hold a decent conversation. <laughs> how ridiculous. Let's go. We'll leave the stage to this person who'd rather save face than save his own life. Hey, no... No, wait! No playing with his ego. Uh, halt! You cannot just leave me here. We're both of the Lawrence bloodline, after all. Helping me when necessary certainly won't tarnish your prestige. If anything, my embarrassing predicament will be overshadowed by your virtuous deed. We must uphold the prestige and dignity of the family. This is the best reason you could come up with? You think tacking on the word family will be enough to talk me into helping you? You should be ashamed for your careless actions. It's because of you that we all had to come here. I... Uh... Seems everyone in the Lawrence clan is this way. They'll do anything to save face. Even though you, you, Eula sounds harsh, we did come all the way here to save him. Looks like it's time for the mascot to step in. Here you go.
you go. One for Eula, and one for Lessig. What is this? Candy? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Oh, the smell. It's just like the aroma I smell coming from the blends. Yes, that's right. Enjoying something sweet always lightens the mood. Oh, thank you, Miss Mascot. I certainly do feel much better now. <laughs> so he's willing to thank someone else, but not me. Eula has been worrying about you the past few days, and asked me several times regarding how to find you. But now that you two have been reunited, I won't have to keep answering her questions anymore! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! <laughs> wow. Let me clarify one thing. I don't care what happens to him. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Eula will never admit that she actually cares about him. Yeah, you're probably right. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Uh, then at least give me another piece of candy. <laughs> hmm? Oh, sure, sure. I, I still have more. Sorry, I admit my mistake. I know I've caused heaps of trouble for all of you. <laughs> Why couldn't you have just said that earlier? Eula. I'm back. Oh, have you already finished catching up? Why are you all looking at me? Oh, uh, nothing. Don't mind us. All right, then let's clean things up here and keep working our way toward getting the crystal light fixed. Ah, there's no need to push yourself in your condition, Lessig. I'll take him and find some place for him to rest. I happen to be a little tired myself. All right, I'll leave my cousin to you then. You'd better rest up and regain your strength before we settle things, Lessig. Still trial characters. Damn it. Fine. I mean, thank you. I like playing as you a little bit. Now, let's see if there's any way to keep raising the platform higher. We probably will need to find a mechanism that's like a lamp. One padlock on it, you still need to unlock it. Yeah, I know. Strange. Is that really the Lessig that I know? You shouldn't always judge people based on the way you knew them before. People change, and people can always make different choices. Hmm. Oh, wait, I should have... Uh... Unless I could just take the stairs again. I suppose that works. Oh, look! There's a water droplet over there! Ah! Oh, a hydro idolin! It must have been trapped in the curtain. But at least it seems to be okay. Hi, buddy! Oh, wow. Okay, let us see. Time to scout. Ah, fuck! But, ah, uh, shit. I can't even turn it. Mm. Oh, I could take it with me. Okay. What? What? Interesting. Stop!
Ah. There we are. Alrighty then. More speed. Wow. I kind of thought it looked big from the outside. This place is massive. It is a magical tent after all. The inside is much larger than it appears from the outside. Haven't you heard stories with this sort of thing before? Yeah, surround the teapots. Oh, another path has appeared! This should be the last level! Yes, don't worry. We're almost to the top of the tent. The last thing we need to do is raise the crystal light to the very top of the tent. After the stage collapsed, I realized that having it raised only halfway makes it look a lot like the stage at the Grand Bazaar. Have any of you visited the Grand Bazaar before? No, I haven't. I have. I've gone there a few times with Master Tainari. The place is bustling with all kinds of vendors. And if you're lucky, you can see Nilu perform her dance. Oh, a dance from Sumeru? <laughs> I'd like to see that myself. Hmm. If only it were on the way back, then we could stop there. Well, we still have the magic card. It doesn't matter if it's on the way or not. I would be happy to take you whenever you have time, Eula. Great. I'll take you up on that offer. Yeah! We've been to the Grand Bazaar. Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, we've already been there more times than Paimon can remember. Yeah, really? it's been an adventure. My father used to help with festivities at the Grand Bazaar and would always give me candy during the events. I was just a kid and didn't understand anything. I was happy as long as he gave me some candy. To me, fairs and festivals were the best things ever. I always thought my father was amazing and wanted to be just like him when I grew up. But aren't you a scholar in the academia, Maimuna? As far as I know, scholars seldom could spend time doing anything but research. I doubt you could have time to assist your father in preparing festivities. Yeah, seems you read me like a book. Aww. When I had the choice between becoming who I wanted to be and who my parents wanted me to be, I ended up choosing the latter. But I was never happy about it. Huh. That's almost the exact opposite of Eula's situation. You must have already realized that. Why else would you set up all the booths here and make this place like a fairgrounds? Yes, but I'm still not as happy as I imagined I would be. I realized that attending a fair and running a fair are two completely different things. Yeah. The main reason my childhood was so fun and carefree is because my family worked hard. But my father knew how difficult and tiring running a fair could be, so he wanted to push me towards academics. <sighs> but in the end, I didn't do well in either. I gave up on myself and resorted to investigating ley lines in the desert. Some things happened and then I accidentally ended up here. I finally had a chance to make my wish of running a fair come true. But after seeing everything come crashing down, I feel like I've lost the strength to go on. It's not as bad as you make it out to be, Maimuna. No need to feel so down. You have the courage to change, and you've been actively guiding us on this journey. Someone who's given up on themselves could never do these things. Oh, Kale. I understand my situation better than anyone. You don't need to try to comfort me. It's not that I'm trying to comfort you. It's just that people sometimes don't realize that their actions speak louder than words. Believe me, this is something that I learned from my time together with Eula. Oh, what are you trying to say? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <clears throat> now, let's get that crystal light fixed. <laughs> All right.
want to padlock a lock, you still need to do the other one. I don't know why I made those noises, but yeah. Oh, okay. Install? Yeah. Now yeah, rotate. Unlock two. Still need to remove one more for a lamp. Hmm. So... Right, I need to get that thing there. Yeah, but I can't do it like that, so... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, maybe I have to just, yeah, do that. Now we do the thing. Now we do the thing. I'm moving these wires. Alright. Um, hello? What? Rotate. Install and the little thing. That should do it. All that removed. Crystal is doing the thing. There we go. Shadow, it's massive. Uh, wait, Shadow just now. It's. Uh. What kind of candy did you give him? Uh, uh, seems he still might need a little more time to recover. Tell me, did everything go well for you all? Of course. With a team like the Traveler, Paimon, Kale, and Eula, they're at least forty times more reliable than you ever were. <laughs> wow. Only forty times more reliable. <laughs> that means I'm still pretty good then. <sighs> I guess it's impossible to feel like you've lost once you've already given up. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about how comfortable you are with that. Huh? What has happened? How did I get outside of the tent? Oh, that's right. I remember meeting Eula, and then, uh, and then. Oh, my head. Oh, you're awake now. Uh, don't worry. Th that's just a side effect of your treatment, Lessig. I'm afraid I still feel a little disoriented. I'm scared to ask what kind of treatment he's receiving. Lessig Lawrence. Oh, it's you, Eula. 
All right, all right, I'll do it. I'll come back to Mondstadt with you and abandon my wild efforts to restore the Lawrence clan. Interesting. Now you want to talk. Seems like you've had a change of heart. In that case, maybe you'll be able to explain everything in detail for us now. I... Uh, I admit it, yes. I came here in hopes of finding a way to restore the Lawrence clan to its former glory. But it was a long journey, and I didn't always know the way. I passed through Liyue and Sumeru. There was even a time when I lost my wallet and had to live in the wild. But the peculiar thing is, I realized that nobody knew me out there. Not a single person even cared about the Lawrence clan. Yeah, it's a big world, dude. You and I are like glass pawns that were raised in shackles. We were taught to act like nobles, but outside the walls of our home, the people of Mondstadt despised us. Such pompous, hateful, and stubborn teaching. It all culminated to making us cling to the old aristocratic dogma in an attempt to maintain our pride. It's like a never-ending game of tug-of-war, but it is meaningless. You understand. Or I should say, you have already long understood. But I'm afraid that I have only just realized this. Hmm. Paimon sorta understands what Lessig is saying. Everything he said is true. Your family is probably unaware that you've already changed how you see things. Yes. This has all happened recently. After coming to this domain, I realized the Mondstadt that I want is one where not everyone fears me. All that I and many other members of the Lawrence clan long for is a place where we can live peacefully with others. Lessig, both you and I never had anything to do with the glory of the Lawrence clan. That is all in the past. We are just ordinary people. I originally planned on returning to Mondstadt after taking care of things here. I never thought you would come here. I was completely shocked, which is why I reacted like I did. I'm sorry. See, people can always make different choices, and it seems that Lassik has also chosen to become someone he truly wants to be. <clears throat> yes, about that. I'm afraid I haven't quite found my own purpose in life yet. That's all right. Being able to clearly choose between becoming who you want to be and who your parents wanted you to be is already a step in the right direction. How to find true happiness is probably one of the most difficult research topics of all. I have a suggestion for you, Lessig. Why don't you return to Mondstadt and tell your parents what you just told us? They'll probably try to tear me limb from limb. But what about you? Did you ever tell your family about what you think? She has. This is something that I've been thinking about, too. Perhaps the two of us can sit down with the rest of the clan and discuss it with them. I mean, she has of her father, at least, right? I mean, that's like how you met her in the first place. The Lawrence clan is just like this stage. It was once home to glorious performances, but those days are now long gone, and it is time for the stage to be updated. She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open, like an ice cube. Is that why she's able to dance anytime and anywhere she wishes? Um, are you all done talking now? Yes, I think so. By the way, that is for you. Please take it. I found it on Lessig earlier. It's one of the missing components! Wait, so you had it all this time? Why didn't you give it to me earlier? Well, you didn't ask. All right, I admit it. <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> okay, we'll let the traveler hold on to it for now. Hmm? Wait, this looks like... It looks pretty familiar. Have we seen one of these before? It's a candy box. Ah, right. I also bought a similar box at the last festival. Yes, people often use this kind of box for candy at festivals. This was one of the materials originally used to create the tent. 
But now that the tent has been repaired, we no longer need it. Eating the candy from the box as an adult will never be as delicious as it was when you were a kid. But if you really think about it, there are way more things you can eat as an adult. Eh, uh, hard disagree. Candy is always good. Those sour power straws, always good. Ah, so when it comes down to it, eating candy is sort of like life. It's just another choice. Hmm. Very deep with the topic of candy. So, as of now, we've already collected three of the missing components. Only one more to go. Oh, there's four? I'm I thought it was only... repairing the tent took so much of everyone's time. You should all head back and have a rest. I'll lead the way. Familiar looking candy box. Huh? Isn't this the water droplet we saved a while back? Wow, that light board is really interesting. Uh, there are still two more white lamps, so let's do the thing. Hmm, I see. Now, what do we have here? I shall treasure this good fortune. There's a lot of shit here. Put it to a marvelous crystal, which is radio, whatever. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Oh, the park guide. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. All right, Kaya. My man. What are you, my friend? Watch out. There's a thief about. Stop, shit. Are you alright there, buddy? Down? <laughs> She'll treasure this good fortune. Two two up to juggling. Fellas, what you got? Begin game. I don't know what this game is, but okay. Oh. All 
right keep an eye on you all right all right all right all right Is it always going to be the center? <laughs> it's always the center. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. Yeah, it's been fun playing with you boys or girls. We got here. Look on quietly. Applause. Bravo. Thank, Left thank you. Rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. stuff here anything back here no okay Here to know. Nope. Okay. I do see that over there. I shall treasure this good fortune. Begin game. Oh, can we? I'm not sure I get the point. Start over, bro. Shit. I, I, I think it was this. I'm guessing that's a fail. Yep. Yeah. All right. So box. Toy. Box. With ears. Dummy Candy cane Okay, so Box Toy Box of ears Dummy Candy cane rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. So there's like stuff like way up there somewhere. No wait, this is on my level. Oh yeah, in here. Ah. What game? Archery.
Yay! What else? What else we'd have here? There's like three more chests in this area. The one at this level. Oh, I think that's pointing to the locked one though. Alright, so I need to go like way up there. Oh. Waving me in? Alright, what's in here? This cave of wonder. a lucky day. not to make him go all the way down. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. There's still more stuff up there. anything? Something's off. <clears throat> okay there, buddy. What's going on? Oh, what's wrong? Turn. No cheating. What's wrong? Anywho, murder. That guy just did not give a fuck. <laughs> it's like, nope, I don't see shit. <laughs> Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. So you get a blue. At least I think you do. Yeah, you do get a blue. So where do I find out the- Ah, oh, there it is. Alrighty. 
So how do I... I think I got it. Okay. Can I not remove that one? No, I can't. Oh. There we go. Now I got play the waiting game. There we are. I shall treasure this good fortune. Visit treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. I don't know what why I'm beatboxing. Alright, now... Mm -hmm. 